that, she read that exact thing that Josh was talking about. One other thing they said that men, what it is is that we have brains that we, our stuff goes like this and women's goes like this. Men are better at solving problems. Women remember. They have a strong memory. They remember everything. And that's why they can't forget about the smuts that they had sex with, is they are actually using that part of the brain, but to a default, in a sense, yeah. You know, it's like, you know, girls, they want the infinity. I work doing tattoos. The infinity tattoo is a huge tattoo, you know, because girls want shit to last forever. I don't get that, but horrible one did it, that one went down. Alright, alright. I got some more stuff, I swear. So my two-year-old found my stash the other day at home and she gave it to my wife. My wife was freaking out. She's like, honey, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm like, don't worry, honey, she's a good kid. She turned it in, man. No biggie. I think we're going to be alright, you know? Um, the difference between a meth head and a crackhead, a crackhead will steal your money and your drugs, a um, meth head will steal your money and your drugs, but he'll help you look for them. So you'll be able to find them afterwards. No, you won't. He'll just help you look forever. Um, one of the strangest things I've ever tattooed, I did got milk around a woman's nipple right here. That is a real story. That's not even a joke. That's a true story. And I did it for free. Not because I wanted to. It wasn't the kind of titty that you wanted to do for free. I was trying to get rid of her. Because she kept coming into the shop saying that she wanted to get this tattoo. And some guy's going to pay for it in the bar. And I'm going to advertise for you and all that. And we figured one day, let's just do the tattoo. And she'll quit coming in. And she quit. So. And I also did, here's another strange one. I did the name Ruben Pearson the third. I remember the name distinctly. Reuben the Pierce Reuben Pearson the third on about a 250 pound black lady right on her inner thighs right here. Right there. Her man had had her go down to the shop and that's what she wanted to get. So I got her up, you know, up, up shh, shh, shh. he's up in the chair, legs are spread out, I got her big high. I mean she wore like a bikini suit, you know, to try to be proper, but it didn't help at all. Trust me, it didn't help. Like, it needed more, needed a little more pad in there, you know what I'm talking about, the pad part. Um, you know, there was also, here's a here's a um, story back a while back, I think he uh, remembers this one, John. There was a, there was a school teacher, I don't know if he was college or if he was high school, but he got fired for using the word vagina. Right? Well, wasn't this true? And wasn't he like a biology teacher or an anatomy, like the kind of school, work, the, you know, the kind of subject where you would use that word? Now, if he was, say, an um, economics teacher, then I could understand, you know, if he's like, all right, you know, girls, we're, we're in hard, hard times here, we're in a recession, you're going to have to find um, extra work here, probably, because, you know, the vagina just doesn't go as far as it used to. <laughs> now, if he was using it like that, you know, it used to pay for everything, now it just pays for your own stuff, and the guy helps you with the bill. So it's gone down in value over the years, and I don't understand that. I mean, it's a weird thing, you know, and like that word, too, I hate that word, you know, vagina, but girls love that word, and I'm going to let them use it, you know, back in my day, we called it pussy, and it was hard to get, and it was hard to get, and I understand, because that's what we called it. It's like that word has a little bit of like, shh, 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 shh kind of attached to it. Women hate the word pussy, but they love the word vagina. Like I said, it was hard to get. Now that it's vagina, they let everybody have it, and they want to talk about it, and, um, you know, it's like, it's like a, such a, like a, to me, the word sounds like you're going to the doctor or you're reading it in your biology book. There's nothing sexual to it all. Vagina's like pussy all cleaned up. You know, it's like they got all the hair off it. Like when we had, pussy used to have hair, vagina does not. It's all shaved and trimmed. You know, and like young guys today are kind of not going to 
They don't understand. They don't know that that's how it used to come. Like, you know, um, <laughs> like I feel bad that young guys are never really going to get to know what it's like to shave a girl down there. They're really never going to get to, to know. I mean, back in our day, that was part of the sexual experience. You know what I mean? Like, from scratch. Like, you've been going out with a girl for like a year, finally talked her into, you know, you're all excited. It's like a big deal, man. Young guys are never going to get to know that, you know? And you don't know what you were going to get either once, once you shaved it off. Sometimes you want to. Wanted to go back. Uh, yeah. um, you know, it's kind of like shh, short hair. On you know, lots of girls love to have you know really really short hair, and some girls it looks cute. But you know, even most of you girls will admit that most girls don't look as cute as they think they do with their short hair. The vagina is the same thing. Some of them get confused just a little bit here. Now. You know, words kind of work that way, like, I have no problem with the, the vagina word even though I don't like it because I get more of it because we call it that now, so that's good. Guys, it's not the same thing for you. Don't call it your penis, okay? Quit calling it your penis. No girl wants to touch your penis, man. She wants you to. Um, you know, girls like penis, but they love it. It's a little different. <laughs> I got something else here. So one time I was looking down at my date's panel top. And it was a good one. I mean, that's why I picked her out. You know what I mean? And we're driving in the cab. I'm looking down at her camel toe and I see a big toe. What looks like a big toe. I'm like, this is a dude. It's not a guy. Like, that changes everything. We're getting home. I'm like, this is a guy. It looks like I'm just getting a blowjob tonight. That's <laughs> all I'm getting. I mean, anal, I guess, but not that neat kind. Not the being neat, neat kind. No way. You know, I work it as a tattoo artist. She get the phone calls sometimes that the ladies want to get that area tattooed. And I'm maybe when I was a little bit younger, I might have been all eager for it. But now, I don't want to do that. It's kind of like shaving, you know. When you used to shave a girl, it was an erotic. It was part of the sexual experience. Now it's just work, you know. No guy was like shave your own fucking pussy, baby. I'm gonna help you with that, you know. So this lady wanted me to tattoo her pussy. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that because it becomes work. It's like if you're a gynecologist, you know, and you see when you see pussy every day, you lose the taste for it. And that's all I'm really, really worried about. <laughs> don't want to lose the taste for it. Um, there's some a little kind of few differences about being old and being young. Like I remember, you know, young guys are like. That girl was a dead leg. You know, when, when you're in um, school, young guys thought girls were dead legs. It's like, nobody, you're the dead leg. You know, she had about as much fun as you gave her. We're old guys now. I wish more girls were dead legs. Seriously, I'm like, hold still. Quit moving around. Damn. It's just about there. Who told you to move? Not a good thing, man. Um, when I was old, or when I was actually um, young, you wanted a girl that would swallow your love. That was like a big deal. You're so, come on, baby. I got it. it makes me feel accepted. <laughs> now I'm old, and I think it's kind of gross. And I kind of, now I get turned on when she's disgusted by it, you know? I spit it out, and it's like, oh, I yeah, spit that shit out. <laughs> Like, I mean, I think it's really neat that she's willing to do that for you, and it's so disgusting, but she'll do that for you. I think that's cool. <laughs> Spit it out, baby. Spit the shit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one of the benefits of being older, you're a little more, you know, um, mature. You look at women in a whole different way. You see the beauty in all women. When you're young, you nitpick, you know, her boobs not right, her butt's kind of... But when you're older, you can see beauty in every single woman that you see. That way you can perv on more in the store, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so it just gives you more options. 
you know, when you're, up, when you're older. Um, let's go back to the poop. So it was weird. Today, when I had my poop, I woke up. I went and I pooped. I actually uh, hopped on the scale. Why? I don't know. But I hopped on the scale and I pooped. And just to see, just kind of, I went and I hopped back on the school and I gained three pounds. <laughs> I'm like, how do you gain three pounds? Like, did I put on extra weight? You know, was I like lifting and squeezing? So I gained muscle, muscle, man. I gained fucking muscle trying to poop out this shit. I gained weight. It was hard work. Hard work that poop, man. I'm telling you. But yeah, it was beautiful. I, I love the poop. Um, we'll go back to the poop again. Prostate, huh? What my face like? You know, basically for guys, like I explained to you, to you girls before, that it's all about the love button. That little button that we have, prostate, that makes us feel good when we poop. Like, we go to the doctor to get our prostate looked at. You get your boobs checked, we get a butt check. That's how much the, you think your exam is invasive. Seriously, man. We go and see a strange man. He puts his big rubber glove on and he greases it all up and he sticks it up in our butt just so we know that tomorrow it's still going to feel good to poop. Again, we go through all that and it's totally worth it. Like, I, I love to poop so much, I get postpartum depression when I poop. It's like there's an emptiness inside. <laughs> I'll do something else here and then I'll hand it over here. Um, if you still like to do cocaine, you haven't done enough cocaine. Trust me. I need to do some more. Um, you know, uh, drinking games are completely, you know, young people play way different drinking games than we did. Um, beer pong, to me, it just seems so elaborate, you know, like you gotta have a table and all these punk balls and all these cups and we just used to spoon quarter. That's all we needed. Just one little quarter like we can drink. One quarter. Man, that was a horrible <laughs> but, oh, fuck beer pong. Don't talk don't make fun of beer pongs in front of the kids. Uh, now now is it just me or is a can of bean dip just like a little bit too big? You know what I mean? Just like a spoon, just like one little spoon. You can't put it back in the fridge because it gets all hard and you can't push it. Fuck's up your shit, man. Um, you know, like like I've heard them say that it's impossible to shit and piss at the same time. Those people have never seen a bear. Um, here's a tip for you know, like I told you guys, wash your face, wash your face after you. But here's a tip that works in your direction. Get your lady to brush her teeth with whitening toothpaste before she goes down on you, and you'll get a whole different experience. I discovered that on accident. And yes, my wife was late for work that day. So, um, let's see, I'll do one more little thing. Um, every guy has that one nice shirt, you know, your nice kind of like dress shirt that you wear when you're going out. Because you know when you're going to wear it, because you only have that one shirt and you don't ever go out. And it's like one of those hand wash, dry clean, and it always looks like shit. When you need it in a hurry, it looks like shit. Because you wear it, you know next month we're going to this thing and you take time to get it dry clean. But when you need it that night, it looks like shit. So I'm getting ready and I'm trying to get on this shirt and it looks like crap. And my wife is giving me shit. She's like, I, why do guys like you even wear shirts like that? You shouldn't even have shirts like that. They always look like crap. I'm like, you gave me this shirt. Like, that's the kind of shirts girls buy us, or the crappy ones that they make fun of us when it looks like crap. Like um, anything else? I love it. All right. I'm going to pass it back to Taylor. Yeah. And I'm going to be like, oh, it's a regular joke.